Hey, welcome back to the wonderful, beautiful world of Washington State history. Um, it's been a long time since I've taught you uh, much of Washington State history at all. We've really been focusing on language arts during this school closure. So I thought we'd start with just a review of some of the lessons we'd worked on before school closed. It was a long time ago. You might not remember. I barely remembered it myself. So um, this is just um, a little movie of um, just some of the highlights of those lessons. So put on your headphones, sit back, relax, invite somebody to watch it with you if you've got uh, somebody at home helping you with your work, or you can watch it by yourself if you prefer. And let's catch up to where we were before the school closure. Washington State history since time immemorial. Here we go. Part one, since time immemorial. This is North America, and North America is a continent. Oh, I hope you remembered that. North America is a continent. And this is where we live in North America, right up here, kind of in the top middle. That's where Seattle is right there. And this is the country that we live in, the USA, United States of America. USA is a country, 50 states in that country. And Washington state is one of those 50 states. There it is right there in blue. That is our state, that's where we live. And Seattle is a city inside Washington state. Let's take a closer look at Washington state. You should recognize it by now. You did a whole map of it, we painted it. There's just an outline of it, beautiful Washington state. And that is where we live. That is Seattle, and Seattle is a city. Now here is a map of what Washington state looks like today. Washington State in 2020. Take a look at it. What do you notice? What do you recognize? Washington State in 2020. Just a few of the beautiful things about what our state is like today. Growing apples, beautiful beaches, industry, tulips, casinos, beautiful things in Washington in 2020. But was Washington State always like this? No, Washington State was not always like this. Go ahead and click uh, play if you can or maybe I can right here. Let's try it. Ooh -ooh. There were already more than 34 countries with their own languages and cultures in the Northwest before white people from Europe, descended from Europeans, arrived here. Lots and lots of people were already living here. In fact, that's how it was across the whole continent of North America, South America too. We're gonna to focus on North America right now. I bet you recognize the shape of the continent, but the borders are very different. This is kind of what it looked like before folks from Europe started arriving here and thinking maybe they'd like it for themselves. That's what it was like before. So when we think of this um, new world as having been uninhabited, that's not true. It was actually very, very inhabited. And um, gradually, more people started coming here from the other continents, especially Europe. And well, here's what happened. Way, way back in December and January, we learned about the Revolutionary War, the American Revolution, and, and how the United States became its own country. Everything you see there in red, that's how big the United States was 
when it became its own country. There were only 13 colonies, which became 13 states, and it was not taking up too much space. Well, relatively. But as the country became more established and healthier and more powerful and there were more people, those more people wanted more land. So over about a hundred years, they kept moving further and further and further west. And eventually they made their way out here to Washington, which of course at that time was not called Washington. Ah, remember the timeline? Let's get a look at the timeline. Let's put this into some perspective. We've got 2020, that's where we are right now. And then all the way over on the left, we have 2007. Some of you were born in 2007. Some of you were born before that, some of you were born after that, but let's just go with 2007. This gray block here represents the whole time you've been alive, from 2007, to today in 2020. Okay, I've added myself to it too. So I was born in 1969, there's me. So you've been alive for this much time, but I've been alive for this much time. You've been alive for most of the 2000s and um, I've been alive for a little bit of the 20th century too, a little bit longer there. So that's our timeline. That's the entirety of our lives right there. Now here's the rest of the 20th century, the part that I wasn't alive for. So we're gonna have like Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks in here. We're gonna have um, World War II right around here. Lots and lots of things happened before any of us were born. So now we've got our lifetimes right here. And this whole timeline here represents basically the timeline of the United States being um, colonies first and then its own country. This is the amount of time that white people in Europe have been living on this land. 1621 is when folks first landed in, um, in Plymouth in Massachusetts. We talked about the first Thanksgiving back then, which, you know, kind of a myth, but that's a story for another time. 1863, this is the end of the Civil War. This is when slavery finally becomes illegal everywhere in the United States. It was already illegal in some places, but it wasn't until 1863 that it became illegal everywhere in the United States. So this multicolored bar here, all of this represents how long the United States has existed kind of as we know it. So let's let that sink in for a minute and then I wanna show you the next thing. So even though a lot of things happened during this time, it's relatively very small. And this green line that goes into a spiral represents all that took place before white people arrived in North America. All of this, it starts to turn into a spiral over here because the native people who were here before us did not measure time in a straight line. They measured it, whoops, they measured it in seasons, a circle. We'll talk more about that in a bit. We refer to this with the phrase, since time immemorial. And basically that just means so long ago in the past, so far out in the past that it has no definite date. But for as long as anyone can remember, that's the way it was since time immemorial. And the lands we all live on were once all tribal homelands, all of it, Seattle, Tacoma, Ellensburg, Mount Rainier, the beaches, all of it 
these were tribal homelands. And these lands were not only where tribal people live today, they're also lands where tribal people have lived since time immemorial, since before anyone can remember. All right, so I hope you remembered a lot of that. I hope it came back to you as you were watching the movie. We are ready for part two. And um, if you want to, you can hit the pause, take a little break, run around the house, have a snack, jump up and down, whatever. Um, or you can just keep going. Part two is the last part in this review series. So um, let's get ready for part two. <laughs>